Happy Caldeo boys everyone, so we're on EFG and Day Reviews here with a Servant Spotlight for Semi Ramus' favorite Emiya face, Amakusa Shiro. We'll be examining his stats and skills, as well as going over pointers on how to utilize him effectively and an overall grade comparing him to how he stacks up to the other 5 star servants. I also have a spotlight for the 4 star event servant Astolfo up as well, so do check that out right after this, but now onto Shiro's stats. Shiro has a max HP of 14,107, which is average for a 5 star ruler and above average when compared to all other 5 stars, and his max attack of 10,972 is also the average among 5 star rulers, but very low among all 5 stars in general. Taking a look at his skills, his first skill is Revelation Rank A, which grants between 3 to 9 crit stars per turn for 3 turns, depending on level. His second skill is Baptism Sacrament Rank B+, which decreases the charge of undead and evil demon enemies by 1, and increases your Noble Phantasm gauge per turn for 5 turns between 10 to 20%, depending on level. And finally, his last skill is Divine Judgment Rank C, which has between a 50 to 100% chance to inflict stun on an enemy for 1 turn, and that can be upgraded via a Strengthening Quest to Divine Judgment Fake Rank C++, which adds the effect of increasing your own Buster Card effectiveness for 3 turns between 20 to 30%, depending on level. Taking a look at his passives, his only passive is Magic Resistance Rank A, which increases debuff resist by 20%. As for his deck and Noble Phantasm, Shiro has a balanced deck with Quick, Arts, Arts, Buster, Buster, and a Buster Noble Phantasm. His Noble Phantasm is Twin Arm Big Church, which removes all buffs from all enemies, and deals heavy damage to all enemies between 300 and 500% damage modifier, and also decreases their critical hit rate for one turn between 30 to 70% depending on overcharge. And that can be upgraded through an interlude, which will increase the damage modifier to between 400 to 600% depending on level. Taking a closer look at his cards, we see that his quick card hits three times, his arts hits twice, his buster hits one time, and his extra attack hits four times. He has a Noble Phantasm gain rate of 0.86% and a star rate of 10%. What this means is he has above average Noble Phantasm gain due to having 2 arts and 4 hits on his extra card, and average star generating despite only having 1 quick card, again just due to the high hit counts on his extra and quick cards. Amakusa Shiro is our second ruler class servant, and just by virtue of his class alone, he's very strong. Unlike Jean, he isn't built to be a tank. He has 2,000 less HP than her and no healing, but because he takes half damage from everyone and has respectably high HP, he still manages to be more tanky than 90% of the servants in the roster, such as the power of the ruler class. Another trait he thankfully doesn't share with John is that he has some good skills. Baptism Sacrament provides Shiro with a strong 5 turn Noble Phantasm charge, and this skill alone will charge your Noble Phantasm from 0 to 100 over 5 turns, on top of his already decent Noble Phantasm gain, so you should never have any problem charging your Noble Phantasm and getting it off whenever you need it. This skill also decreases the charge of undead and demon enemies. Unfortunately, that doesn't work against any servants, but does work against any zombie or monstrous looking enemies. The biggest drawback of the skill is the 10 turn cooldown. Divine Judgment is Shiro's third skill, and it packs a very strong stun that specifically targets servants, and post strengthening quest it gets a nice 3 turn buster buff as well, giving you a lot more damage. The 6 turn cooldown is relatively short considering what you're getting from it too. Unfortunately though, his first skill, Revelation, is the black sheep of the skill set. It does provide you with 3 turns worth of crit stars, as opposed to Intuition which is just a one off skill. So this skill is slightly better, and at max rank it's pretty much a 3 turn 20-30 craft essence. And the skill itself isn't that bad when you look at it that way, but given that Shiro himself isn't a strong star generator to begin with, it just doesn't fit his kit very well. There are a lot more skills that could have been better here. I recommend leveling Baptism Sacrament first to make use of that good Noble Phantasm charge, and get Shiro's Noble Phantasm up as quickly as possible, followed by Divine Judgment and then Revelation for last. If you get Shiro post Strengthening Quest, then you can level Divine Judgment first if you prefer the damage, though I still recommend Baptism Sacrament because Noble Phantasm Charge is so important to him. And that's because Shiro's Noble Phantasm is what makes him. 
Twin Arm Big Church is a very unique Noble Phantasm in that it's an AoE Noble Phantasm that removes all enemy buffs and it does that before damage calculation as opposed to after like every other buff removing Noble Phantasm. That means if an enemy has an Evade or Invincibility, Shiro removes it with his Noble Phantasm and then damages them. Always keep this in mind both when you're using Shiro and when you're fighting him. His Noble Phantasm hits through anything and dispels all party buffs. That makes Shiro one of the best utility servants in the game, and he's a godsend in challenge quests and story missions where the enemy servants just start stacking attack and defense buffs and spamming evade. Leading a Noble Phantasm chain with Shiro's Noble Phantasm will make it so everyone attacking after him can get their full damage off without worrying about enemy buffs or evades, which is the biggest takeaway you can get from the spotlight, and it's Shiro's biggest selling point. The fact that his Noble Phantasm is easily spammable in the right team makes it that much better. All that said though, Shiro's major flaw is his lack of damage. His Noble Phantasm hits like a wet noodle even after the Buster buff gets added, so don't expect any damage from Shiro whatsoever. His role is almost purely utility with his short cooldown stun and buff removing Noble Phantasm. Because of this, Shiro works well on most teams. You'll get the most out of him in the stall team though. Paired alongside Waver, Marie, Saber Shiki, Martha, Ku, or George, you can create a very difficult to kill team. And because Shiro has resistances to everything, healing is a lot more effective for helping him tank. So Hans, Media Lily, Jean, and Tamamo match very nicely with him in that regard and make him near invincible. But outside of a stall team, Shiro still works well as a support for your more offensive buster servants. By using him to lock down the enemy with stuns and remove their buffs, you can help servants like Gil, Drake, Herc, Kentoki, Lubu, Kyohime, Karna, Bryn, Mordred, and pretty much every buster servant maximize their damage while also keeping them safe. And they can even bust their Brave Chain off of Shiro since he has three busters in his deck when you count his Noble Phantasm. And finally, you can use him as a quick start generator if you're really, really lacking one. It's not his best role, but it's possible. Revelation and a good craft essence can provide stars for servants like Ogita, Ann and Bonnie, Skahawk, Astolfo, Ushi, Lancer Altar, and Nobu. Shiro's Bond Craft Essence is Banner of Amakusa Shiro, which increases damage against all undead and demonic enemies by 20% for the whole party. This Craft Essence is too niche to be useful most of the time, since no servants have that trait, but it can help you if you're farming demon hearts. Instead, I suggest you focus on maximizing Shiro's Noble Phantasm gain with either Divine Banquet or Prisma Cosmos if you're using him as more of a support. Otherwise, go with either Limited Zero, Kiss Your Hand or Halloween Princess for damage. And if you want to be a bit more experimental and fun, go with 2030 for crit support and either Iron Will Training or Bridal Training for maximum tankiness. Overall, Amaka Sashiro plays a very strong support role. He might not appear to be great at first, but his Noble Phantasm is one of the best control tools in the game and he's just ridiculously tanky and he has one of the better stuns in the game. All this makes him ideal for a lot of the tougher fights and longer fights. However, he is very lacking in damage and doesn't have the same tools to make up for it that most other supports do. Speaking of which, while he is strong at disrupting the opponent and stalling, he doesn't have the same level of utility and flexibility as Waver or Tamamo or Nero Bride. But saying you're not as good as some of the best servants in the game is more a compliment than anything else, so he gets a B plus from me. Ultimately, Shiro is still a very strong disruptor and invaluable to the team when it counts. Just don't count on him to do your fighting. And those are my thoughts on Shiro. Pretty underrated because he isn't as useful in everyday situations, but still pretty strong in the tougher fights. Let me know if you plan on rolling for him in the comments below. I also have a spotlight up for Astolfo linked in the description and on screen right now. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and consider subscribing if you really enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, please do join the party over at our Discord and follow us on Twitter. And I'll see you all in the next spotlight. Silveroni out. Later.